Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the three mug mockup in Photopea. So go to photopea.com, p h o t o p e a.com, in any web browser. I'm using Google Chrome just because it worked a little faster than Safari. So if you're having any trouble with your web browser, you might want to try Google Chrome. Once Photopea is up, click Open from Computer and find the mockup. Then it's going to load for a few seconds. Once it finally loads, um, we're going to be doing a lot in this handy layers panel here. So if you don't see the layers panel, go to window up here and then scroll down and click on layers to bring it up. So to add your design, you can click on any of these arrows in the mug layers to expand the layer groups and then you just want to double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash layer to open up the smart object and then go to file open and find your design And that's going to load for a few seconds for us. There we go. And then once the design comes up, go to Select All, then Edit, Copy, and then click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit, Paste. It's thinking about whether or not it wants to paste it. There we go. Now it did it. And you might need to resize that. To resize it, just hold down the shift key to keep your design proportional. And then click and drag on any one of the four corners. and then just click and drag on the image to bring it into place. And when you've got it in place, you can just go to File, Save Smart Object to save the smart object. And once it tells you it's updated, you can close the Smart Object tab and the original graphics. And you'll see it added it to the mug just like that. And then you can repeat the same step with the other two mugs. We'll just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash layer. And since we already copied it, we can just go straight to Edit, Paste. To paste the design. We'll resize that by holding on the shift key and clicking one of the four corners. And we'll go to File, Save, Smart Object again. Okay, and we'll close that tab. And we'll click the arrow in the third layer and double click on the Design Dash Layer thumbnail icon again to open up the last Smart Object. And then we'll go to Edit, Paste again. pressing command minus to zoom out. On a PC it would be control minus. And we'll just shift click to transform our design. And we'll 
drag it into place. And then we'll go to File, Save Smart Object. Okay, and we'll close that tab. You can also change the colors of the interior and handle. By the way, I press Command semicolon to turn the guides on and off. It would be control semicolon on a PC. To change the colors, you just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash layers. And that's going to bring up the color picker. I used to bring up the properties panel again. Um, and then I had to click on the layer tab and then click the dump double click the little color swatch under color fill to bring up the color picker but lately it seems to want to just go straight to the color picker which is good and then to change the color just double click anywhere in this rainbow slider here and then click in this box to change the lightness and darkness of the color you can also enter the color values if you know them and once you've got the color you want click in this hex box and then drag to select the number and then press command C on a Mac to copy or control C on a PC and click OK and now if you want to have the same color on all three mugs you can just keep double clicking the thumbnail icons in the color dash layers and then clicking the hex box and then drag to select the number and press command V to paste or control V on a PC we'll just repeat that for all the mugs Alright, and you can also adjust the shading on the mugs to make it a little more contrasty. To do that, you'll see this more shading layer. Just click the eye icon next to it to turn it on. You'll see it made the left mug a little more contrasty. You can adjust that a little bit too by clicking on the more shading layer, then clicking the down arrow next to opacity and dragging it to the right to make it more intense or the left to make it a little more subtle you can also adjust the darkness of the shadows underneath the mug by clicking the arrow in the shadows under mugs layer to expand that layer group and you can expand any of the layer groups within that and then just click on either of the shadows and click the down arrow next to opacity and just drag it to the right to make it darker or the left to make it a little more subtle you can uh, move the mugs around if you want to so to do that just click on any of the mugs with this top tool selected and then just drag the mugs around And if you want to, you can also change the background. So we'll click the arrow to expand this background's layer group. You can turn the existing layers on and off by clicking the eye icon. You can also add your own by going to File, Open, and then Finding Your Background. And then going to select all and then edit copy and then click back on the tab with the mock-up and go to edit paste
pace. Now I had, I had the layer near the top selected so it pasted our background on top of everything which we don't want so then we'll just click on our background layer in the layers panel and just drag it underneath some of the other layers to send it to the back and once we're satisfied with how that looks we can just save the mock-up if you're going to use it as a thumbnail online like on Etsy you want to save a JPEG version. To do that, go to File, Export as JPEG. And if you'd like a layered PSD with your design as well, you can go back to File and then click Save as PSD and it'll save a layered PSD in your Downloads folder. Please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com Thank you.